If you have a string through guitar like the one shown, I like to remove the string ferrules prior to guitar skin application. I do so by finding an Allen wrench of the appropriate size and basically using it as a punch. I stick it through the back of the guitar and punch the ferrules out. I do this too on certain headstocks that instead of using nuts, they'll use larger ferrules, which I remove them the same way prior to headstock skin application. Take the skin and peel the backing back far enough to reveal the neck cutout. Position the skin on the guitar body. If your pickups stick up too far, take your X-Acto knife and cut a slit directly over where the pickup is, big enough that you can pull the pickup out, as shown. Work the skin onto the body, starting from the middle and working your way out. Repeat this front to back until you get the skin completely installed on the guitar body. Any uh, bridge tuning pegs that stick up with your fingers, you can work the skin right around them. As stated, work the skin on the guitar body, working from the, uh, the inside out. With an X-Acto knife and a new blade, trim the excess material off from around the guitar body. What you're going to basically want to do is use the guitar body as a guide and putting tension on the excess material as you are trimming along there will allow for a smooth cut. Use care when doing this. You don't want to turn the blade into the guitar and scratch your guitar up. If you encounter any jagged edges, which is common around corners, you can take a scrap piece of backing and cut out sort of like a horseshoe shape. You can then use this as um, peel the backing up where the jagged area is and use that piece of backing that you just cut out as a, uh, a makeshift cutting board. Make sure you have the waxy side facing down because you want the skin to grip onto the back of the, the backing sheet as you're making your cut to correct the edge. Last step is to trim out any the pickup cavities, the bridge tone potholes, um, tuning peg holes, uh, tremolo, etc. Also, if you have a guitar that has recessed knobs, such as a Schecter, you can work the skin down into that recessed area using your fingers as shown. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, I mean, these, these things really turn out awesome for, you know, a little bit of work, well under $100 to make your guitar look this good. It's, it's unbeatable.